so <clears throat> what we're gonna do for you <clears throat> stop screaming in the mic so much and we have got it all set up for week two we're saying goodbye to Brandon Gunn and Charles Davis for the first season I think we're going to have me as the commentary. <clears throat> so I'm going to do my best to do play calling too. So wish me luck on that. <laughs> We're going to play as the Columbus Capitals against Seattle. Because it's a really big test for Seattle. I don't feel like I have to play as them. We're going to play as a suckier team to see if Seattle can pull it off in. Uh, in simulation. <sighs> Honestly. game to decide who to play as to decide who to <laughs> Seattle or Columbus let's think let's just stick with who we know this game is very meaningless it's really just a test to see if this is going to work out the Seahawks really need this the Capitals really really need this, so. This is really going to decide which team is Super Bowl ready. <clears throat> Let's say the Seahawks win. If they can beat me, gonna be huge so here we go we say goodbye to Brandon Garden and Charles Davis for the first time in Madden we don't have announcers you've got me and we're going head to head with <clears throat> John West of the Seattle Seahawks versus Justin Herbert of the Columbus Capitals DK Metcalf is probably the best wide receiver of all time at this point. And the Capitals just want to make a name for themselves. Swan led the league in rushing last year after Brown. Or he was like third or something. At one point in the season, he did lead the league. We don't got Brandon Gotten or Charles Davis. So I don't know why their <clears throat> icons are even there. Instead... Commentary is going to be by Walt Dipsy himself. They are going to take the ball out of the end zone and get it to about the 24. <coughs> <coughs> so here comes our offense. And here's the guy behind center, Justin Herbert. He's got insane stats. But can he actually get that championship? Not even just a Super Bowl. He doesn't need a Super... He needs a championship. They could go lose. And it would be fine. This team needs a championship. So we got Barrow out there. I don't know why.
Oh my gosh. Sabaro is number one. Keep him out there. Let's get him some stats. Josh Moon is our number two. <clears throat> A crazy catch for another first down. And this team is uh, going to have to fight to curse all year. But right now, we're not seeing that curse. Right now, it's all Justin Herbert. <clears throat> now, what I assume they're going to do, because this is what they did last season, is sometime before week one, we are going to see this team go out and pick up a veteran running back to really um to be the fake number one so that swan can actually have a year because this team needs their number twos to be their number one secretly that's why you might see borrow out there as the number one because josh boone has to be the number two so that when the curse finally comes into play late in the season. So the Columbus Capitals curse is a curse where late in the season and in the playoffs and in the Super Bowl, their starters don't play. Other than Justin Herbert. <clears throat> oh yeah. The real... Ooh. The dink and dunk. The real reason to be afraid of this team though is because we have a capable backup in Dwayne Haskins Jr. Probably the best backup ever. Because I could just go out there and he's so mobile. It doesn't matter... What the hell is going on out there? Okay, here's the Seattle offense that we're going to look at now. And John West is the young quarterback who took over after Russell Wilson retired a Seahawk in this alternate universe. And he is really good. You saw his stats. He's in the 80s, 90s, whatever. He's like Bob FM. Anyway, he is looking really good always. I mean, look at that. <clears throat> Complete the short pass, get the first down. Um, and their run game is good too because they let this guy, Wheaton, be number 12. You know that the Seahawks won't just let someone be number 12 unless they can really carry that number with them and be the best, be one of the best in the league now they don't run very often but in simulation these guys like to run they're more of a run team nice little pass to wayne for five or six yards second and four and juan wayne is really good he's their slot receiver <clears throat> and it's a run oh there's wheaton on the run breaks the tackle gets a good Second and eight. It's a gain of ten. Oh. Oh, wow. Will Sean Wheaton. No, not Will Wheaton. Sean Wheaton. Just tearing us up in the preseason because he is that guy. He only had one rush last week. But you can tell he's ready to get more. Oh, and the pick out of nowhere. Mm. Let's see his signature. I want you. There's Murray Jr. Hopefully he can get more of those all season. <clears throat> so you saw the defense tighten up in the red zone or close to the red zone. And now we're back. We're back out there on offense. Is this where you take a shot? I think it is. I think it's where you take a shot to try and lock it away. Oh, there's no one open, I don't think. There was, but... 
My sense of pressure get the best of me. We really want to win the first quarter big time. So let's try to score in 30 seconds. It's okay if Swan doesn't see the preseason so much. He's going to have a big year. He doesn't need to be out. Uh, that's going to be it for our starters. Most likely that's the game right there. How much you want to bet? It's Dwayne Haskins from now on. Mm. So no, they're going to let Justin Herbert stay out here. So I'm going to stay with what I was doing. We're not going to give it to Swan. We're going to let Swan have his... I need my running back on this team to stay healthy all year. I can't have people getting hurt in the preseason. Let's get these guys out of here. We're up 14-0. Let's push them to play their backups. John West was good. He came out. He threw a pick. Give him one more drive. See if he can score. I'll bet you he can if they just set it up to Harvin or set it up for DK. They're going for Juan Huayne and coming out with slot receivers, and I just don't think it's a very good look. I think that they should come out, get it to DK, get it to Harvin. What they're doing with Wheaton is really good if they just push the run. You got 5 minutes and 56 seconds. Let's see if they do that or not. <clears throat> and it is nice to see my own teams and what they would do in simulation. Oh, it's a screen. So it's like they're listening to me because that's exactly what you want to do. You want to get your quarterback going. You want to get your running back going at the same time. Set up a nice little screen. Let's watch it this time. And since we were watching the screen, we were ready for the run. That's... It's a bad play call. You gotta come out and either run with enough blockers or just pass. Because I'm watching the runner now. The only reason is I'm watching the runner because they did a screen. Even right here, I'm watching the runner for a screen. Possible screen. I'm getting in the middle. I'm watching the runner for a screen. Oh, he juked me. Ooh. Okay, okay. So they listen to me. Just keep pushing it with Wheaton, you guys. Watch the screen, watch the screen. Oh, they pulled me away. Really good. Now, now they're turning up. Number 41. <laughs> Amazing tackle by Gamble. Lay down and tabletop him. It's an all dipsy tackle, but it's also only because I missed my tackle. It was not an all dipsy tackle. It was. In all dipsy, dipsy, dip. It looks like they're set up to score, but let's tighten up in the red zone and make sure that they don't. Nuosu, Nuosu, Nuosu. <sighs> I was screaming Nuosu because that guy was pushing. Pushing. Let's try that again. Just push, 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 push. Oh no. And the Seahawks crawl in for a Seahawks touchdown. Touchdown Seahawks. Touchdown Seahawks. We're still going to say it. We're still going to call it. I'm actually really excited because that's my first time calling a Seahawks touchdown. And what do I say? No. I say, oh, no. Uh, next time I'll do you guys justice. Let's hope they score again. If they score again, I'll hit you with a touchdown, Seahawks. Touchdown. I'll scream into the mic. No, but 
I'm learning. I am learning. I'm gonna listen to these. I'm gonna focus. I'm gonna get better as a commentator. Gets it all the way up to the 28, maybe the 27. So we still got Justin Herbert out there. So let's just get Herbert his munchies. Because that's all this is about. Let's get Herbert his munchies. If we're not going to put Dwayne Haskins in yet for some reason. Then let's get Herbert his munchies. And put this game to bed. Dwayne Haskins had eight touchdowns last week. And you're telling me we're going to play Justin Herbert all the way up to the two minute warning of the first court of the first half. <clears throat> it's bad coaching. Get Dwayne Haskins out there. Let him take control of this offense. Now, I only say that because I'm the coach, but at the same time, I'm really not. I'm role-playing as the owner. The coach is supposed to make some of those decisions. But if he don't care about Justin Herbert and wants Justin Herbert to get his munchies, then we're going to get Justin Herbert his munchies. Come on, let's get him. Let's get those munchies. Come on, let's get them. Touchdown, Columbus Capitals. And we're going to look at the feet. I think he dragged his toes. Good work, Morgan, for dragging those toes. Having your toes, dragging those toes. Magic nose, dragging the toes. Good job. I mean, we're not even going to review it, but Dipsy's going to review it. A Dipsy review. Let's see if this was crazy or not. Because I swear, if you're throwing it that way, normally that's out of bounds. How does Morgan do this? So he caught it. One. Catches it on his one toe. Touches the other one. Good job dragging the toes. And that's how you know that you're really dragging the toes because it's not. A lot of people think that when I say dragging the toe, it will be like this. Catch. Drag the toe. And it is. But really, it's more catch. Drag the toe. See, one, you have control right here. He has the ball right here. And then two. In reality, it is one. And then he drags the second foot right here. But when you're doing the motion, you can't think of it that way. Because it's too fast. In real time, it's really... He's dragging his toes. Catch. Catch. So, that is extreme control. I mean, I'm glad we reviewed it. Because... <laughs> I, I was thinking there's no way he catches this when I threw it. In fact, I was just throwing it away. I thought I might throw a pick. Because a lot of times the defense will do the same thing and just drag their toes. <sighs> do you think that we're going to see our backup Seahawks? Rivers, Philip Rivers' little brother or son, one of Philip Rivers' little kids, is the backup quarterback of the Seahawks in 2030. 
Nope, they still got John West out there, starting quarterback for the Seattle Seahawks. We're going to hit him real hard. Why are you still out there? Get the starting offense off out of there. It's 21 to 7. They weren't good enough. Mm, and a scorcher. A scorcher. All the way to the 47. And they're moving down the field with pride now. A couple yards right there, or four yards. Oh, Dipsy Sack. <laughs> Sit down. And the Columbus Capitals call their first time out to give themselves a break so that they can get the ball back and maybe score again. But if I was them, I'd put Mother Dwayne Haskins in. And they get it at the seven. I'm Justin Herbert is still out there. And it's only preseason week two. Get this man out of here. Get this man out of here. We're up 21 to 7. Put the backups in. Come on, are you crazy people? They're all crazy people. Dwayne Haskins had eight. I have to interfere with the coaching as an owner right there. Stop my broadcast. And tell them, hey, put Dwayne Haskins in. This guy is a, such a pleasure to I don't know why you would want to watch anyone else anyway. Who's going to help put us into field goal mode? Only Dwayne Haskins can. <gasps> Throws a pick. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Honestly, it was a mistake on my part. It was a mistake. I was button pressing A. <sighs> I have to admit though, they're stupid for not. They're stupid. One more time. Okay, well, they made it a good game, actually. Um, the Capitals fall apart before half and give up a pick six and can't even get into field goal range. Pushing it a little bit too hard at the end there, giving away the one turnover. The, gave them the lead and 
Here are some highlights. There's that turnover, a little dead duck throw from Dwayne Haskins after throwing eight touchdowns last week. He throws his ninth to the other team, and they're going to kick off too, and I'm really rooting for the Caps in this one, but the Seahawks are a force to be reckoned with. One of the best teams in the past ten years. Super Bowl after Super Bowl appearance, losses, wins, seeing one of the greatest quarterbacks of our time finish his entire career with them and Russell Wilson. And now we're looking at the future after that in Rivers. Because um, they're not giving it to their guys. They're saying that's the game for our starters. Uh, here's our backup. Well, maybe he can do better. But so if anybody is not interested and wants to call shenanigans, let's say it was against all the backups on that play, then we could say the Columbus Capitals won. But fortunately, that's not how it works, and we're gonna see the rest of this game out. And the, we saw the Seahawks. Uh, last week went with their third string quarterback because Rivers couldn't do much so maybe this week Rivers turns on turns up and can be the backup quarterback that he's really meant to be get some of those stats that he probably wouldn't get otherwise because I just think he's a so oh, a nice spin move by number 30 for a touchdown to tie the game touchdown Seahawks touchdown Seahawks Number 30, that is Bagley. That is the backup running back. Bagley running it in for a touchdown. And number 74 is over there on the sidelines freaking out. And I know who that is. That's their defensive lineman. And how long of a rush was that? 30 yards? 40 yards? Jeez. What a beautiful run. And we're going to tie the game up with the extra point here. So the Seahawks come back. 21-21. To really show the Capitals who's boss and who's, who's a championship caliber team. Because one of these teams is, is a championship winning team year after year. And one of them is not. Um, loses that championship mostly. So we still got Morgan out there. He's just in a different position. Ridiculous, but... Beautiful catch by Randolph. Just throws it away. Just did a little Justin Herbert there. We love you, Dwayne Haskins. Uh, just want to say again, like, a beautiful soul, a beautiful person in a game. His memory just lives on inside the game and we're watching him tear the Seahawks up 21-21 can he pull it off I think he can because I seen him throw eight touchdowns last week and he's looking for that ninth especially after that pick he's really looking for it I guess because I guess we have too much insight into what this offense is thinking so he gets it. Touchdown. Dwayne Haskins. This cap. To put it up. 
to 28. Hoping they if they get the extra point here. To 21. Up a score. Up a whole score. So now we're going to see Rivers come back with Bagley and see if they can't just do the same thing they did last time. The last drive they had was so effective, so different. Ran out uh, on an outside run to just... To just put it all away. Bagley gets five. Four, call it four. Run, run, run. Wow. Bagley gets a gain of 15, maybe 10. 12. Seahawks first down with the game of 12. And he goes out of bounds with a gain of 9. 7. Second and three, and we're on the clock. <clears throat> because we're going into the fourth quarter. We're in ten seconds, and Rivers is three for three all of a sudden. And nailing everything. And it seems like they can't stop Bagley. So they're coming out in a major passing formation here. So let's see... If the defense can just hold up, they switch back to a deep rushing formation, fake the run, and they got the running back swinging out right, but the pass rush gets to him. I think he saw me covering the guy that he wanted to get to. So Rivers goes down. He does not throw a pick or anything, but that sack is going to hurt. It is going to hurt, literally. So there is... A hole in this defense, and they didn't find it. A crazy pick that bounces off of his legs into the hands of number 97, the defensive tackle. And he is really excited. Those guys do not <laughs> get to see that action like that very often. What just happened? Was that a th Bagley's feet? We're going to have to look at that one again. Okay, so Rivers runs back, throws it to Bagley. Bagley loses the ball in a fumble. It bounces up off his leg. He kicks it up into the air somehow. What? Who did all that? What is this, number 15, Young? Let's see this hit. Boom. Is he not down? I guess not. Because he lost the ball. Right there. No longer has control. It just bounces right, right up into his hands. And... <laughs> who am I in all this? Just watching. I made the catch at the last second. But <laughs> this is what I did on the play. Just 
just insane. <coughs> it was all young. And 97. So here comes Dwayne Haskins coming back at you. Oh, stays up on his feet but goes down at the 35, 36. At the 44, I mean. Second and 15. Tosses it to Silva. Andy gets down with one yard to go or so. Third and two. It's the slant. Down at the board, 35. A little pass to the tight end, Prince. The three yards, really effective. Bumble. Luckily, one of his guys falls on it, and I can see the look in the defense's eyes. <laughs> they know they let one slip away that they needed big time. A Dwayne Haskins fumble. Perfectly perfect for them in the taking. Get back into field goal range. Oh, and they get the fumble. They get the fumble on the next play. And this time, it's Slaughter. He was just trying to get back into field goal range, I think. And his own guy got in the way, and he couldn't get out of bounds. Morgan's got to make that block there instead of just dilly-dallying. It's a sense of awareness. I don't know if he was even across the line yet, though, so... Here comes Rivers. One of the sons of Philip Rivers. <laughs> to try and get the win. We're going to see him try to get the tie. Try to tie this game up. After the crazy interception, we get a crazy uh, fumble. Oh, my goodness. Just scorches him to the 41. That's his first catch of the game with the game 21. Giving him the big first down. And we're seeing the Seahawks with new rejuvenation. New rejuvenation, you know. Holding Dwayne Haskins to one touchdown this whole time. So, oh, a big hit, but with number 11, Stephenson, second catch of the game. One after the other. And there's the two-minute warning for this game. And it's an exciting one, so nobody go away. Because I feel like these Hawks are going to score. And if these Hawks score, then we're going to see the Capitals have to go down the field to win. And I'm not sure that they can do that. And it's to Bagley. He gets it way past the 25 to the 24. And a big first down for them. Third catch of the game gets out of bounds. Rivers is seven for eight for 95 yards and one interception. He's looking to also even up the score and maybe get himself a touchdown. Um, they're really believing in this game and it's, it's happening. Wow, and that was right to him. Somebody covered the middle. There we go. They had somebody covering the middle. Someone, anyone, bullet is covering the middle. And now I think they're going to go somewhere to the outside, I would guess. Oh my goodness, a huge sack at this point in the game. Number 29, Brian. Oh my goodness, I think... 
and they've just got him on lockdown. So this is it. This is the game right here. It's fourth and goal, 40 seconds to go. Can they tie up the game right here? They just cannot catch a break, and this defense comes up with a huge stop at this point. A huge, huge stop. And even if he would have caught that, I don't think he was getting in. So here comes Dwayne Haskins with his one touchdown and one interception. To what? Come get one first down to try and win this game? I think they're going to start running too, which we haven't really seen them get to all game. So, yeah. The Seahawks were not ready for that, and I think that's the game, because they can kneel now. Yep. So we're going to see uh, a big kneel, and the Seahawks could not get into the end zone. And I think they should have just taken it more seriously right there. Maybe ran the ball. I think they're still in 2030 thinking like Pete Carroll and trying to to throw the goddamn ball in that situation when uh, and this is all I'm going to say about in the real life mirroring with Pete Carroll. Pete Carroll retired and everybody said to him, hey, it was a great run. I think that's karma. <laughs> Should have handed it to Marshawn. Even while you're retiring, they're just going to say, well, good run. And he really didn't have a good run, but he also didn't. And he did. And he didn't. It's hilarious. What makes you think that we're going to punt? <clears throat> we're not doing anything. Good job, Dwayne Haskins. You held it together. Got your one touchdown to win the game for us. Nobody scored in the fourth. Um, that's the story of the game. Ready or not, he's not gone. Yeah, I'm gonna find you in the game. You can't hide. Gonna find you and make you want me. You can run away. Yes, I love how baby. Hey, baby. I got a lot of them. Everywhere you go, my whole crew will run away, baby. Hey, baby. story of the game was both teams had two count them two turnovers and that's it you know but then Mike Rivers with a big big percentage of 75 uh, but Dwayne Haskins had the touchdown and the touchdown was the deciding deciding factor so should have went and got that touchdown Mr. Rivers <laughs> Can't fit this one to the snow. Oh, just be careful. Mm, mm, in that one you snuck up. Handing the Seahawks their first loss of the season. <laughs> Not going to bode well for them going into the regular season. Will it be a good year for them? Will it not be? Who knows? Mm. 
the next game is going to be the Browns versus the New York Giants. And, you know, that's going to look like a big win for us. It's looking like a big win for Houston, too. Baltimore is going to try to get the win on simulation mode. Brooklyn needs the win. Chicago looks like it's going to get it. Tampa Bay needs the win. Hopefully they can't. Patriots look like they're going to get it, but who knows? That's, that's Detroit. Never know what them. <sighs> but yeah, if one of these quarterbacks is going to hop up ahead of Dwayne Haskins. Jeff Winter, maybe. Maybe Rocky McGee. Just be careful and she so sweet. I'm like a sweet little Pokemon. <laughs> They're all super snuggly, and then one little thing happens. Then they gotta go see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was definitely hard commentating the first game. In fact, there was a moment there where I was like, I'm going to have to stop commentating because I might lose. Because I get into it and I want to say touchdown Seahawks, actually. And I'm playing the Seahawks. And they're like my favorite team in real life. But the Columbus Capitals get to win over there, so all my Columbus family, friends over there in Columbus... Praise the Columbus Capitals. Praise them. It's a good omen. Beat up on the Seahawks. So, it is my weekend, so you might see. You might see me soon. Maybe I'll battle for 